Welcome back, everyone. Let's get back to the conversation. What happened today in the hollow chamber of the Aquabom State House of Assembly is nothing to write home about, considering the kind of commotion, gunshots that were heard, and the incident which played out today. Those are some of the images of the scene which played out today. And the Aquabom State House of Assembly will also understand that a governor visited at some point several different reports coming in on what really played out and the role of some of the major players in this. So we're getting perspectives from both sides. It does look like the APC and the PDP in Aquabom State are at a difference, uh, at, at, at differ on the situation of things. Whether or not those seats can be declared vacant of those APC lawmakers and the allegations of uh, police connivance in what uh, the PDP has described as a siege on the state. We have heard from our Buja studio tonight the President's Senior Special Assistant on Legislative Matters and a Koi Bomb APC Chieftain, Senator Ita Enang. And beside him is a National Legal Advisor of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Emmanuel Enoidem, also from a Koi Bomb said. Let's get back to the conversation now. Let me allow you to land on that thought and perhaps quickly react, Senator Enang, to the allegations of connivance of your party in Aquabom State to lay siege uh, uh, with the police, to lay siege on the state. It does look like uh, your party uh, controls the power at the center, and the allegation is that you're using that on the politics of Aquabom State. No, sir. Please, let me conclude. In the National Assembly, under the leadership of David Mark, as it were, there were so many defections from, one, from APC to PDP and from PDP to APC. There were no declaration of seats vacant. It was well managed. Even under the leadership of uh, distinguished Senator Saraki as president of the Senate, there were defections from APC to PDP and from PDP to APC. Fourteen senators defected from PDP, I mean from APC to PDP in one day. But he, he, he managed it well. It's the same thing in the House of Representatives. They are managing it well. Under the former leadership of the House of, of, House of Assembly in the state, there was a, 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 some defection. And earlier this year, earlier in the life of this administration in the state, the member representing Uruwe Fongoruko in the state House of Assembly was a member, was the only member of the APC, elected on the platform of the APC. He defected to the... Uh, PDP. He said was, his seat was not declared vacant, but it was when members of member, former members of the PDP who were dissatisfied with the actions of the state government defected to, the, uh, to join the APC. Only then has the governor instigated, instigated that their seats be withdrawn vacant. Now, going to the, um, the question of federal uh, presence, I want to say that first, the job of the police to, to maintain law and order. But the job of the police, and in the course of maintaining law and order, at the request of uh, the uh, distinguished senator representing Aquaibum Northeast, on the motion, the House, the Senate said that, I mean resolved, that the police should withdraw from the scene. That was Thursday last week. And the police withdrew and vacated the House of Assembly. And this morning, according to the event, the police did not lead in anybody. The police only came in the leadership when, and I understand that the police and the other security agencies came in when the governor, when the governor himself led his aides to the House of Assembly, interfering and stopping proceedings and in generally causing uh, commotion in the House of Assembly. All right, this let's, let's get uh, Mr. Enoidem to react to what you've just said. Job Senator Enoidem, just, just a moment, just a moment. Let's get Mr. Enoidem's uh, thought on this one. Mr. Enoidem, will you also react to this? If your party is alleging that uh, there is connivance between the APC and the police, the report is that the governor arrived at the chamber today, is a member of the executive arm, arm of government, and we understand that from the report gotten that he arrived with some security agencies Agent, some youth loyal to the state government and the PDP to chase away the factional lawmakers or the lawmakers belonging to uh, the PDP, uh, to the APC. Is it a case of force for force or what? The case, uh, it's uh, not uh, a case uh, of force uh, for force. 
I, 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 don't, I, don't, I don't think this is your turn. I, I'm, I'm the one to speak here. Um, it I, is not I, a case the, of force the, the force for force, but issue of the issue the we have. The uh, issue we have is uh, if it, uh, Senator Thailand is talking about enforcement of the law by the police. I believe that the police know, should know enough, anybody who is a commissioner of police or any officer of the police should know enough to know that if a seat of a member of the House of Assembly is vacated, whether it was right or it was wrong, that member has no business in that house. And if a House of Assembly is, is composed of 26 members and then five of them went into the, the, the House of Assembly to, come, to do business in the House of Assembly without any nearness to the forum of the House, of course, that's an illegal assembly. And if the police were doing that work, enforcing the law, an order in the, in, the, in the state. The police ought to have arrested in and the, and the gang that went into the, invaded into the House of Assembly this morning. The, what happened in the, the House of Assembly was that the police on, on ground, without the commission of police, aided and abetted the criminals to break into the, 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 the hardware chamber of the House of Assembly and, and purporting to be sitting. That is the issue that is under contention in the House of Assembly. But, that is but, what uh, the uh, Mr. Anoidem, you're not reacting today. to and the fact that the that governor the was said... Just, just a moment, just a moment. You're not just... Just a moment, Mr. Anoidem. You're not reacting to the fact that the governor is also said to have arrived with some people loyal to the PDP and some security agents to chase away the lawmakers well, are you saying wrong for wrong or what? What we are saying is that if you are enforcing law, you should be able to dis distinguish between a criminal and the one that is not a criminal. Otherwise, you are not doing the law enforcement. The, the, the law is very clear. If you are not entitled to be in the House of Assembly because your seat has been de declared vacant, the police cannot aid you. That you can only go to court to 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 set aside that order. That, that, that is what is expected. So what is the police aided any of the parties? So what, what is Whenever there is any contention among the parties, among the people, there is always a contention and a problem with the state. Because they want to talk about the state, and we are telling them that the state is not available to be taken about by APC. Because you don't believe APC. Gentlemen, gentlemen, just a moment. Let's get your final thoughts on the program, and we'll do that in about forty seconds. Let me just say that the government has been doing everything to ensure that the state of 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 the solution to the matter in 40 seconds let me start with you senator and your final words on the program tonight and the way forward in 40 seconds please senator and is your turn so the point i'm making is that excuse let, me senator excuse me. Me. just a moment uh, uh, mr annoy them we're going to come to you to give your final thought uh, senator and please go ahead 40 seconds your final thoughts so that they allow the 26 members whether you belong to the apc or the pdp to sit and await the final decisions of the court. And there are court injunctions restraining the, hand, the, the, the declaration of the seat vacant and declared and restraining actions and asking the member to sit in a meeting. All and right. On my part, Senator Enai, uh, that's about it. Let's hear from uh, Mr. Enoy then. Your final thought, just in 30 seconds or 40 seconds. Please, if you can quickly do that, we're out Senator of time. Thailand. Let's, let's Senator Thailand or any other member of APC for that matter mention any section of the Constitution. We enable five members to sit and hold session in any House of Assembly of 26 members. Let me mention that, there are that section of the law. members and all of them let, are sitting and they are all legal members. Let me, of also, the let me also tell Senator Tanner that there's no, no section of the Constitution. Gentlemen, I guess it's a good time for us to, in the uh, to end the show. Day, Many the thanks uh, for coming the on the program. Distinguished Senator Ita Enang, President, special, Senior Special Assistant on Legislative Matter and an APC Chieftain, also the National Advocate. A legal advisor of the People's Democratic Party, Mr. Emmanuel Anoidem. Thank you so much for coming on the show tonight, gentlemen. Well, that's our show for today, everyone. Many thanks for being part of it. I'm Shimon Kimbale. Bye-bye.